Um, the thing is, most of the time when you start a company out or when you are doing something, you're bringing a new product on the market or a new service, you start at a low price and then you want to increase it. If you look at my previous video, I always tell you just put it at the market price and don't give people discount. Yes, that's correct. But most people don't listen. They just want to start at a cheaper price and then they want to increase it. But there's a problem with that because going down is easy, but going up is really difficult. So in this video, I want to show you exactly um, what you can do in order to increase your price and what you can put into it. So keep in mind, let's say this is you. This is your company. And when you start it out, so this is one, you put it for a cheap price, right? Now the costs are going up or you invest in something new, you want to give it the mark price, so MP. So what can you do in order to go from this price to this price? So let's say you sell something for $99 and you want to go to 150. What can you do? This is 50% increase. It's a lot. I'm not saying it works every time, but this is really a lot when you increase it. Yeah? But it can also be you want to go to 120. Doesn't matter. Okay? You just need to increase the price. People need to have a good reason why you're going to increase the price. But that's technically not true. What people want to know is if the price increase, what is it in for me? So again, what is it in for me? If you increase the price, you need to also say something about the service that can benefit your clients. And the thing is, there will be some clients that are not happy about it, but there will be some clients who be like, I don't care, I will pay the price for it. Yeah? But keep in mind, you can name whatever you want in here when you inform them about it. You need to make sure that when you increase it, what's in it for them. Yeah. So what you can send your clients is uh, an email or message, text message. I, I have an example in here, but focus on the thing that's important for them. And you can also say, hey, um, because of this reason, we invest this. It's going to be the, um, we need to increase the price. But most time they will think about, okay, what's in it for me? So this is an example. We raise our prices. You satisfy the important, blah, 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 resources, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This, along with increased price, has forced us to increase the things. Yeah. Thank you for understanding this matter. The thing is, this is an example that you can use, but I would put below, yeah, we're going to increase the price. It. What does it mean for you? You're going to get these benefits, extra benefits, and these benefits. That's something clients want to hear. As soon as they hear that, they don't care about the price. Yeah? And that benefits need to solve the problem. So if you're starting out with small, um, with a cheap price, this is a warning. When you need to increase, it's going to be really difficult. If you have questions about this or how you can do this effectively or in your company, feel free to go on a Discord. The link is in the description. Go to the text house page and then send me a message or a team a message. We will try to help you out. If you like this video, like it. If you're new to this channel, seriously subscribe. It's for free, this information. Why not subscribe? I will see you in the next one. Bye.